So Jenny, fantastic to meet you. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Um, maybe you can start by just telling us about the white girl. It's a tropical noir love story set in the last fishing village of Hong Kong. And um, it's a story of a girl's coming of age as this fishing village is disappearing. And she, um, she meets this very mysterious traveler um, who shows her a new way of looking at the world. And what was it about this story that, um, that drew you to it? What, what, what made you want to make this film? The film is a response to a lot of things that are happening to Hong Kong right now. Um, Hong Kong used to be just a fishing village, but if you go to those spaces today, um, the fishermen are all gone, you know, their way of life, their culture is disappearing. And the same thing is happening to Hong Kong itself. So um, for me, the five years that it took to make this film has been a kind of homecoming because I used to live, uh, I lived abroad for eight years and I started making this film when I moved back home. Um, so it's a response to a lot of the, um, to a certain way of life in Hong Kong disappearing um, as um, Hong Kong's becomes It's a response to the way that Hong Kong is disappear is start is starting to disappear after the handover back to China. Yeah. And I understand it's your debut film, but you've yeah. been co-directing with Christopher Doyle. Mm -hmm. So how was that working relationship, and you know, how did how did you put this film together? Well, I think um, if you're going to spend five years of your life making a film with somebody, I mean, you better trust them. So. Um, this isn't the first film that we've made together, this is the second. Um, so I would say, um, you know, I tell the story and he gives it, and he finds a, a visual form for it. Yeah. And what was perhaps one of the most challenging scenes to, to film? You know, what were the most challenging bits about making the film? Um, I would say it's this it's the scene where uh, the white girl meets this man by these sea caves and um, he's supposed to save her from from like a kind of there's like the waves are coming are like crashing onto the rocks and he's supposed to save her but um, the actors can't get too close so they're wearing safety belts and you know we have to make it look dangerous but also make sure that it's not yeah so I think that was the most logistically challenging part of the shoot and as I mentioned it's kind of like a sort of noir fairy tale yeah. there's you know discussion there of outsiders what do you think people are going to take away from this film or you know is there a message there for you if anything if people take away anything from the film, I think um, it should be a sense of believing in yourself um, and um, an aspiration to be who you want to become. Mm -hmm. And what's been the reception so far and how do you expect it to play out here in London? I don't know. I, I myself have not seen it in a movie theater yet. And it's the world premiere, so I have no idea. We'll see tomorrow. And have you got any other projects in the pipeline? What might be coming up next? Um, I have three. I have one which is uh, a remake of a crazy feminist film with the girl who plays the white girl uh, in, in this film um, and another Chinese actress. And then I have another film that I'm making with my best friend in London which I think will be my first English film. Uh, and then the other film is about my father who swam to Hong Kong during the Cultural Revolution. Yeah. So you have to line them up before, before, the, before the, you know, your film gets, uh, comes out because you know, once you finish a film, it's kind of like, oh, what am I doing next? But if you already know what you're doing next, then there's no kind of like weird, you know, floating around. You can keep the momentum. Yeah. All right, That's fantastic. It. Well, yeah. lots of exciting projects. Thanks so much for speaking Thank with you. us. <laughs>